Yarrow, with its botanical name Achillea millefolium, is a perennial medicinal plant popular throughout Europe. The Latin name goes back to the Trojan hero Achilles, who came to Troy in search of the king of the Mysians, Telephos. He injured Telephos on the thigh and healed the wound with a medicinal plant, which was later described as yarrow. Now the leaves of yarrow are very tender and feather-like, and thus very numerous, as expressed in the Latin term, the botanical name, Achillea millefolium, which means the southern leaf, Achillea. The essential oil of yarrow is obtained through steam distillation of the dried herb. About 250 kilo of plants yield an amount of one liter of the oil. The fragrance is soft, slightly spicy and astringent, and the color of the oil dark blue or green due to the presence of camazulin, a sesquiterpene compound. The essential oil is produced mainly in France, in Hungary also, and in Bulgaria. In Europe, in addition to its healing benefits, Yarrow has a long traditional and spiritual significance. In the Middle Ages, for example, on August 15, bunches of yarrow were picked, consecrated, and hung on the door to ward off plague as well as witches. The rich list of biochemical components with esters, oxides, ketones, monoterpenes, camphor, etc., indicates that yarrow's properties must encompass a large scale of possibilities. Now, yarrow belongs to the family of the star flowers, which in botany is called the Asteaceae. This group has a history in many ethnomedical traditions, specifically in anthroposophic medicine, homeopathy, even ancient Greek medicine, and so on. Scientists have found the oldest known member of this family in a nearly 15 million year old fossil flower. Studies have shown that Asasea are effective on numerous levels of our psychophysiology, specifically on our respiration and also post-operative injuries. Now the well-defined symmetry of the flowers of this group speak for itself. The star flower is not just one flower, but many flowers in one. The petals around the center are in a sense fake indicators, I would say as if we have to do with one single flower. But looking nearer, we see that we have a collection of flowers, a dense group of very small disc flowers surrounded by a ring of larger petals. In fact, the flower, the flower head in botany is called a pseudodontium, false flower, pseudo antimis in Greek. Yeah. And this aspect of one in many, many in one, has a cosmic connotation. Star flowers are first-hand messengers for consciousness. 
for uplifting the mind towards a better connection with the body. We can say they are soul flowers and they express a highly evolved state of evolution of the plant kingdom. Because if everything in the universe tends to a greater connectedness, the Astraceae plants express this in a very direct and beautiful way. They are actually mandalas of unity and diversity. In this sense, the essential oils of this group help us to direct ourselves to the real values of healing. That means to discover our spiritual identity, our inner being connected to the mandala of the universe. Also in this sense, the inner spiral of the central disc flowers is structured according to the laws of the golden ratio and the Fibonacci sequence. And this is one of the secrets of essential oils. The world of matter, the world of the earth, the minerals, which is called sal, salt in alchemy, becomes soluble, movable through the influence of sulfur in alchemy, sulfur or agni in Ayurveda, the heat element. Yeah. Flowers are the heat organs of the plant, exposed maximum to the influence of the sun, the moon and the stars. So they drink the light day and night, and we absorb this light with the help of the essential oils day and night. And this liquid light full of ojas, as we would say in, in Ayurveda again, or in Sanskrit, or prana, has in each essential oil its individual color and radiance. Yarrow and the whole group of the Astraceae, the astral plant group, with their thousand blossoms, shows a particular affinity with us. To conclude, we can say that Yarrow fixes beautifully the opposition of forces in nature into a subtle form of healing energies. A strong stem with tender leaves, multiple blossoms of light and fire, with an infinity of seeds, meant to connect back with the cold earth. And this gives Jero, due to its amazing polymorphism, such a rich curative power, especially in its essential oil and in the richness of its biochemical compounds. It is certainly also due to its high degree of antioxidant capacity that Jero has such a wide diversity of curative effects. It's really an amazing essential oil with a strong future for the world of aromatherapy.